right, gang. So as promised by Rockstar themselves, they said that they was going to give us some more information pertaining to the new DLC information and stuff like that. And I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. We got it in the Newswire, and it's a lot, bro. They have changed so much stuff via this news wire to the point where it's pretty much crazy man but i'm finna go through this bad boy man and read off some of the more important things that's um and that's in the news wire and stuff like that bro the, the things that stand out to me because if i was to read every last one of these things bro it'll be a, a pretty long video man so uh, i'm gonna just start off with this bad boy bro it literally go on to say man we got us a big old bold title thing man that it says experience improvements coming to gta online rockstar creator updates new ways to track career progress balancing adjustments and more then it go on to say as part of next week's explosive new gta online update featuring new missions vehicles events and much more we're continuing to improve the online experience with a number of um experiential updates and upgrades across all available platforms so this will be across you know every last one ps4 xbox one series x and s and ps5 but um we got the pretty much a brief rundown like i said I, this ain't brief in the slightest but it's a lot man but as you all know man we got the claim all for moore's mutual um boys mutual will no longer charge for recovering personal vehicles destroyed during contact missions which is pretty dope um what's what's some other one like it's a lot of these bro and i don't want to just go down this bad boy and read every single ass one of these bro but we do got a change and we got the actual official name for the new jet it says pressing d-pad right or right on the d-pad will engage stealth mode which confirms stealth mode for the new f-160 ride you playing i don't know if i'm saying that right but that's the new f-35 or the new jet that everybody's so hyped about man it's confirmed to have stealth mode which is dope but it also go on to say vertical um vertical takeoff and landing aka veto will move to l3s slash ls so your left stick and holding it when flying the aircraft will switch it into and out of veto mode so you basically click it if you um want to just take off or whatever and then while you're flying you want to hold it to go activate veto mode which is uh you know that's cool you know what i'm saying so basically like hunking the horn though to um change it up or whatever um the option to re-request an active um moc avenger or terabyte thank you rockstar bro we needed that right there that's gonna be dope bro so you can finally deliver your active moc avenger terabyte it don't say nothing about the acid lab i don't know if you can do that with the acid lab but you know we can um get those vehicles closer to us when need be which is cool but also scary as far as pvp go because everybody just gonna be on their mark twos requesting their terabytes and going crazy you know how i go game no <laughs> and then it got some other stuff bro this is another interesting one it said lesser used vehicles will be removed from in-game websites to streamline the browsing experience these vehicles will be made available via event showrooms the lucky wheel and other places so does that mean we getting more like dealerships or would they just completely wipe them vehicles off the websites and you will only be able to access those vehicles when rockstar decides to put to put them in the showrooms or whatever like event week by event week type of thing so I'm gonna take it as that so i'm i'm gonna say it like this if you got an older car that you want you better get it now before rockstar take them all out and it'll be gone and then like i said bro um we got some gameplay updates like i said i don't want to read all of these because we'll be here forever but one of the ones the very first one man a new register as a boss option is in the interaction menu basically merging Sekiro serve aka ceo and motorcycle club mc bro which is dope bro like i said the only thing i can think about that if you end up registering as a boss and say if you got like inventory in one of your mc businesses or something you probably gonna end up having a lot of raids and stuff when you just wanna you know what i'm saying do whatever that you're doing in your ceo so be careful with that one right there gang um a bio option for purchasing body armor is an ammunition which is clutch um body armor will be restocked after um quick restarting the mission matching the same amount of body armor as when you first entered the lobby which is clutch 
Um, we got a lot of different things. They got something about parachuting, um, Martin Madrazo dispatch stuff. Alternate sprint control, hold the sprint in the setting menu. We know about that. Players will be able to select the name of the asset product via the interaction menu to receive a 5% sale bonus. I don't know what that means. That might be interesting. So you can get a 5% sale bonus when you select a name for their asset product. Hmm, I wanna know what that's gonna be about. Um, that's cool though, but rank requirements for daily objectives is removed, you know, little stuff like that. I don't know how many people still do daily objectives or whatever, man, but here we go. Balancing updates. Payouts on many collectibles and events such as berry stashes and treasure chests will be increased. We're also correcting payouts for Gerald's last play and a super yacht life upwards by 25%. That is crazy. Rebalancing weapons on the laser and the mammoth hydra in free mode only. Yes, Rockstar, let's go, man. So all you laser and jet griefers and stuff, they finna really get right with y'all ass, boy. Stop playing. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. The orbital cannon can no longer be instantly reset or refunded to prevent players from being repeatedly targeted. So they, they cutting out the orb spam, and that's another good one. You know what I'm saying? I think they should just completely take the orb out the game, but hey i'm a hey a win is a win you feel me a, a, a win is a win my nigga a win is a win um they got this new thing called career progress track your criminal activities with criminal progress uh or career progress i apologize a new feature that displays your progression as you ride through the crimp as you rise through the criminal ranks and establish your empire this will be accessible on ps5 and xbox series x from the gta online main menu or the pause menu making it easier for both fresh face and veteran players to see all their accomplishments at a glance so basically it's kind of like um the setting thing if you go in your settings and you go down to like stats and stuff and you can see all the things you've done over the course probably like your play time amount of money earned how many people you kill how many players you got kd stuff like that so um they saying it's only for the next gen version so i'm guessing ps4 and xbox one won't be getting this um feature right here but it's cool you know what i'm saying if you want to look at your um your career progress and stuff like that i actually want to look at my career progress over on the xbox side rather than the playstation side i'll probably look at it on playstation too but that's pretty cool you know what I'm and I'm rocking with that. Then we got a whole bunch of creative stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to really read any of this because, hey, it's just creative stuff. I don't really care nothing about it. I'll show it on the screen or whatever for, you know, you creators out there that like level, like level design making and stuff like that. But for me, that's just what it is, man. But, um, Rockstar go on and end it to say, we always look forward to seeing what the community cooks up, tags on creation, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 as far as the creative people. <laughs> and then they go on to say, we'll be sharing more information soon. A detail and detailed patch notes when GTA Online San Andreas Mercenaries launches. Stay tuned for more information here on the Rockstar Newswire. And that's it, gang. Like I said, I pretty much just briefly ran through it, kind of, sort of. Because like I said, it would have been, if I would have read all that word for word, trying to tell y'all every single thing Rockstar changing, this would probably be a 20, 30 minute video, especially knowing how long I can talk. But yeah man that's it that's the things that stuck out to me um if y'all you know like i said i don't know how much hype is behind this i'm not really super excited for the dlc i'm excited enough to you know want to cover it and you know see what's new but as far as like pure hype it ain't that much hype for me but there y'all go gang if y'all like the video and stuff man make sure you leave a like bro make sure you hit the subscribe button man so you don't miss out on no streams gta videos gameplay videos and any else thing that's game related out here in these streets of the world that we call earth you feel me you know what i'm talking about man but i definitely do appreciate each and every last one of y'all follow and support the child been dropping on everything that i've been doing on the channel i'm definitely appreciative of that but like i always say gang i'm about this thing man y'all be easy to take care peace